Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Free Random Games, a series where I find some of the most random games out there on the internet, and I play them for you right here in this video. I can't promise that they're going to be any good, but I can promise that we're going to have some fun, so if you guys cool with that, you down with that. Everybody get ready and buckle up, because here we go! First game of today's episode is called The Touch, and if this ghost is trying to touch me, then they have another thing coming because they're about to get these hands. I'm kidding. I've never thrown hands. I'm a pacifist. I'm a lover at heart. All that jazz. There's a strange noise coming from the living room. I should go check it out. Okay, I will if I can get there in time because it feels like I'm going to get there in a million years. Is that my kid? Wait, why is my kid just over here looking ugly as shit? Oh, looking like an alien from outer space. Okay, anyway, no more making fun of my child. I am going to investigate that noise because I heard something. And yeah, this looks like a house that I wouldn't- Whoa! Okay. Somebody was already going down there fast as shit too. They were ice skating down the stairs. Who's over here? I saw you. Don't think I didn't see you. What? I could have sworn I turned off the TV before going to bed. Oh boy. Oh, the, the, the dear. I do have the chills that kill, though, for some weird reason. <gasps> Did I just see that chair fall by itself? What's going on here? I didn't see that. I honestly didn't see that. I'm not going to lie to you. But the chair did fall, and I do have the freaking chills. Look. Look at the chills, everybody. Can you see the chills? Not flexing chills. Do I even? Ooh. Oh, oh God. <laughs> chills, though. Chills. 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 So, wait. I have three plates set up. I'm assuming one for me, one for my child that can't even eat on their own yet, and then one for my husband? I don't know. Whoa! Hello! One for you too? I don't know, you hungry? You trying to eat some ass? What's going on with this TV? I just turned it off and now it's back on? This is starting to freak me out. Well, this house is haunted as shit. I think I should leave. Just leave the baby there, you know? We'll get a new one. Oh, God. Oh, shoot. It's still on, huh? <gasps> What the f- Oh, that is creepy! I'm not sure what I just saw, but I have a terrible feeling. I need to make sure my baby is safe. That's kind of weird how in the reflection it looked like we saw the ghost going into the room. But we need to make sure the baby's safe. I think in order to make sure it's safe, I need some holy water. Maybe a cross. Maybe all the above. But let's be on edge, everybody. We saw something gliding into the room like shit was really sweet. But I'm about to let them know that my pepperoni nipples are hard as diamonds. Okay, and, uh, nobody's here. I need to grab my baby and leave immediately. There's something terribly wrong in this house. All right, ugly baby, you're coming with me. Oh! Damn, you ugly! Uh-oh. Wait. Hold on. Goo goo gaga. Gaga goo goo! Oh, shit. I'm scared! What the fuck? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My language. You're just a young baby. You don't need to be hearing those words yet. Oh, God. Oh, that is freaky. What the heck? Oh, that is disturbing. you just gonna come in right through the window. Holy shit, that is creepy. Why are you pointing down? Throwing up gang signs in front of my baby. How dare you? Oh, shit! Whoa! Oh, my goodness. That is freaking scary. And the craziest thing is the baby is sleeping through it all. Should I leave? I mean, I'm trying to leave. Go down the stairs. Go down the stairs. Oh, God. No. What the heck? Please. Take the baby and let me live, please. <laughs> Freaking weak ass punch. She looked like she was punching in a dream. Those underwater punches. Are you kidding me? I guess I'll try it again. Because I think that we can leave the house, but we just have to watch the ghost come into the room, I think. Okay, everybody. Once the ghost comes through, I'm going to moonwalk so fast, it would make Michael Jackson blush. So, yeah. Throwing up the gang signs. We got it. I don't know why you're pointing down at my baby's crib. But you better relax! I don't like that. I don't like that. That is actually freaking creepy. I don't know why you're pointing so freaking hard. Well, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I just need to figure out... Oh, shit. Where's the stairs? Oh, shit. Okay, good thing the ghost takes the stairs, too. Fuck this. <gasps> what? No. Oh, that is kind of creepy, though. But I avoided that. I guess we're meant to get caught. I guess we can't leave because the ghost kind of just cheated me 
and like I said, punched me like they're in a dream. Next game today's episode is called The Deer's Watching. Oh yeah? Well, watch this. We wake up in a room with a security camera, so the deer really is watching. I don't know where I am. It looked like somebody wiped their ass with the walls because I see a bunch of skid marks. And is that the deer that's watching? Go ahead and poke that head out. Yeah, poke that head out with those big old bug eyes. I don't care if a deer is watching me. Just kick the deer in the freaking face. What do you think the deer is gonna do? Snitch on me? Task, take the pills. Okay, taking the pills that kill. What's that? Oh, I thought that was something. Okay. I'm coming, just a second. Oh, uh, keep pretending he is still watching. Whose unmanicured hands were those? Don't look at the cameras, he is still watching. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Okay, stop sliding those things in like DMs. I will help you to escape. Okay, help me. Unlock the freaking door. Don't trust him? Wait, don't trust the person that slid the nose under the door or don't trust the deer? I'm confused. Okay, what do I do? Oh! Okay, I didn't know that it was unlocked. But I have a million notes telling me not to trust him. I don't even know if I trust that. I don't trust anything. I don't even trust myself. Chapter number one. Okay, cool. It's the first chapter in this masterpiece. Only allowed to open the safe if you are a deer. Oh, well, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Oh, shit. Um, is there a lock? What? Um, <laughs> that's a huge bitch. <laughs> Should I open it? Oh, I mean, I know you're in there. Yo, let me in. I'm just gonna close that. Oh, dude, these hands, bro. They better catch these hands. We can probably find something useful in our escape in this safe. I know, but. I don't know the number. Hold on. Where is the number? Do I get a hint? Do I have to count up the amount of notes? And each one that has a vowel is one word. I'm kidding. Let me see. Anything in here? Nothing in here. I'm hearing some weird ass. There you go. Thank you for lending me that hand. There's blood in there. I don't know what that hand's been doing, but it needs to calm down. It needs to calm its tetas down. He will trick you. Okay. Thank you. Do not trust him. Deers cannot write. I thought about that. I'm like, who's writing these notes if deers have hooves? They don't have fingers. They only have hooves for hands. So I'm like, who's writing this shit? Deers can't write. And also, deers can't read. And deers are stupid as shit. So I can outsmart this deer if I'm really like that. Like, I'm built like that. But I need to figure out how I'm going to open this thing. Whoops. Sorry. That, that was me. That was a fart that came out of my butt cheeks. 1985. 1985. Ooh, okay. So we got a crowbar. I know what we can do with it. Go on some serial killing spree with some deers, you know. Uh, Rudolph, Blitzen, um, Comet, Cupid. I forgot their names. I really don't give a double doggy style damn. But yeah. Let's just escape this factory, or home, or apartment, or whatever. But, what? Oh, okay. Dude, deer's running on two feet now? Since when? They've evolved? They've gotten smarter? Not on my watch. Dumb deer that can't write, thanks for playing demo. Last game of today's episode is called Mushi's Kitchen 2, and yes, number two, this is the sequel to a game that I played in a few random games episodes back with Mushi as well. It was about a mascot that got fired. It said, did you find Mitch's keys in the first game? I didn't, but I'm just gonna say yes. Did you help the toilet guy in the first game? I absolutely did. Did you hit Mushi with the crowbar in the first game? I'm just gonna keep lying my ass off. After Todd's escape from Mushi's, he was sure he had hit and killed Mushi with his crowbar. However, Todd was soon approached by the FBI and the US government because of his awesome survival skills to go back into Mushi's kitchen on a top secret black operations mission and stop him once and for all? If Todd can finally kill Mushi, he'll be given tax exempt status and will never have to pay taxes in his life again. Can I kill Mushi? I want that. I want that perk. Task, find and kill Mushi. Press F to toggle flashlight. Wait, I'm back in this bitch and first thing I see is rotting head. Wow, great. And who the hell are you? Can we talk? 
Bro, why are you over here just eating heads? You know what? I'm asking all the wrong questions. Mushi Storage World. What's over here? Oh, nothing's over here. Just a bunch of hoo-ha. Why does my flashlight keep turning off? What the fuck? What? Oh, what the heck? Who are you, bald bitches? What the? Hey! Stop! Get off me! Get off me, bitch! I'm fabulous! What was that? You saw that, right? You're a witness. I did not murder those two people. They came after me. Okay. I have no idea. What the? Oh, oh shit. You're an actual person. Hold on. Find tea and biscuits for Aaron. Sorry, dude. I thought you were a zombie. Open this. The safe code is... Who knows? I'm getting out of here, everybody. Let's go inside here. No, I can't go in there. How about here? Anything? What the? Bro, why do they keep coming after me? I'm just gonna slice. I do not like getting chased. Come here! Ugly! Oh! Face look like somebody took sandpaper over it. Ugly ass! Bop! Bop! Todd, is that you? You're crazy for coming back here. Mushi has forced me to eat all the people he's killed the past few weeks, and it's making me sick. If you want to kill Mushi, you will need to free Plushi from my workshop. The key is in the safe in Mushi's room. Watch out for cannibals. They're looking for blood. Wait. I need to gain access to Steve's workshop, but what is the code? I don't like it when that music kicks in, everybody. It's kind of freaking me out for some reason. Wait, my flashlight has a stamina bar? That's a first. I've never seen that before. Just like I've never seen these people get their ass whooped so hard. Come here. Come here, uglies. Ugh. So they're ass-eating cannibals. Got it. Everybody is a cannibal these days, apparently. So let's see. Uh, Plushy. Oh, that's Plushy. Plushy's the new mascot. Oh, here we go. Pick up. Okay, so we got the tea and biscuits. We can talk to Aaron, unless those cannibals come for me first. Hurry up. Talk to you. Thanks, lad. Before I go, I'll give you Mushi's safe code. There you go, mate. Now, if you excuse me, I'll have to see my queen. But it's five, eight, seven. Fuck, what the heck? Hey, Todd, just wanted to see how you're doing. You're looking kind of tasty, Todd. Mind giving me a slice of your flesh? You don't have to. I'm just asking. Yo, bro, relax. What the hell are you talking about? Five, eight, seven, three. Okay. Five, eight, seven, three. Give me that. All right. Hello, Plushy. You, Plushy, need your help. Mushi won't become president. Plushy must stop Mushi. Mushi tortured Plushy worse than Steve. Plushy is Steve's wife. Steve put wife inside of Plushy. Please pull out knives. Okay. Pull that out. Pull that out. And then, bam, and bam. Now what? Why are you looking at me like that? You must bring Mushi to Plushi. Plushi wants to ban on Mushi. Then Plushi forgives Steve and get remarried. Get Mushi. Lure Mushi to Plushi. What the fuck? Oh, God. Okay. Mushi. Come on. Hey, come here. Come here, bitch. Oh. Don't tell me I have to start from the beginning. Please, please don't. Please. I hit it from the back. I was given Mushi back shots and I died? <laughs> Come on, I died? Okay, so it actually started from here. That's good. Where are you, Mushi? Where are you? What the hell is he? Okay. Go, 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 go. Bro, I don't have any more stamina. Oh my god. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Bro, this is ridiculous. Come on. Help me. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoop his ass. Whoop his ass. Yeah, kick him in the nuts. Kick him in the mushies. Oh, shit. I got front row seats. Oh, no. This is not good. What do I... Um... Todd failed his mission. Mushi killed Plushi during their epic battle for the ages, causing the US government and the FBI to retaliate and nuke the entirety of Mushi's kitchen. Todd was sadly killed in the blast. What Rip blast? Todd. There was no blast. To 2023. I guess you mean ass blast, right? Uh, yeah, I think that's good. I got the bad that? end. Was I supposed to hit Mushi with the crowbar from the back? President Mushi, wow. People really voted for this clown? Okay. What are you gonna say? Tell me, Mushi. I work alone. 
in Moshi's footsteps. I'm gonna kill everybody. Yeah. To be continued. <laughs> We are going to check out one more game of today's episode. It is a Friday the 13th horror game, and it looked like somebody was shaking upside down in a body bag, and Jackson Voorhees, I'm not even going to call him Jason, because that looked like, look at that, look like Jackson Voorhees, just walk right into me, and I'm already moaning and groaning. Who screamed? I'll go check. Okay, let's go check. Who screamed? Why can't I go in here to find out who screamed? I can't fit in this slightly ajar door? Did I say ajar door? It's in a drawer door, man. And I can't even check? Who am I supposed to be finding? Who can fit in these tents, too? I can't even fit my freaking butthole in this tent. Where is everyone? I don't know. I guess I'm about to find out. Oh, and I have invisible video game barriers. I guess I have to go a very specific way. It's like it's forcing me to go a certain direction. I didn't even realize there was like a faintly made road right here. My bad, everybody. But yeah, it's like forcing me to go a certain directions. Whoa. Whoa. What is that? I can't even go there. What in the world? Whoa! Hello, oh. motherfucker. I have to run back. I'll hide in the house. Okay. Looking like a Weenie Hut Jr. axe. He's so mad for no reason. I didn't even do anything. I'm just camping outside my house, minding my own business, and he's coming after me. Hi, right, Jason. Let's go. Whoa! Holy crap, that almost scared the shit out of me. Hide. Where are all my things? Where is the phone? I don't know, but here's an awesome red apple. I need to find the car key and get out of here. And key to the rest home not far from that abandoned house. I have no idea what you just said, but sure, buddy. Let's do whatever you just said. Bro, there's nothing for me here. What was he doing in here? Just standing in here like an asshole? Is this one of my friends? Oh, no. What if it wasn't? I mean, even if you didn't even know that person, wouldn't that be the most horrible thing you've ever seen in your life? But... There's Jason's ass, and I think, what? I'll take that. Oh shit, where am I going, where am I going? Oh shit, I don't like being chased! Shut up, bitch! Let's go! Come on, 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 come on. I think I know what it is. It's the car key for my whip. Let's go. Holy shit, this dude can power walk with the best of them. Go, 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 go. I'm gonna make it! I'm not gonna make it. Dude slapped me so bad I heard a fart noise. All right, everybody, but that's gonna do it for this episode of Free Random Games. Hopefully you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure you give it one big fat like and tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude.